Hi guys, this is be just a short video um, explaining uh, one of my well new new old projects. A few months ago, I made this uh, bus pirate uh, like a logic analyzer, and it's a good and small board. It's portable, and I made this because I was traveling and I was working on a project while traveling, so I needed something that could like fit in my pocket and. Uh, just analyze the boards and protocols and simulate some signals and stuff. Um, so when I made this, uh, I had some friend of mine asking me for uh, uh, for to to make them a version of their own because I ordered the uh, I ordered the PCB from uh, IT at Studio in China and. Uh, well, I ended up making about, well, ordering parts for about 10, uh, 10 pieces and I never got a chance to, to complete them. This is the only board that I, that I made. I hand soldered all these and, uh, so a few days ago I purchased new, uh, reflow oven, just a small one, desk one. And, uh, well, this is a project. Uh, you can, well, it's the cheapest reflow one you can get. I I paid about two hundred euros. It's a, more or less about two or the uh, two hundred uh, uh, US dollars. And uh, well, but at the first time that I started, it was not working good. It was like uh, overheating the boards, and I tested it with this uh, uh, thermometer. So I decided there's a lot of information about this uh, reflow oven and how to get it to work. So you need to, in order to get it to work, you need to uh, basically reflash the firmware on it. And after that, you need to install the cold compensation uh, thermometer inside. So I tested this, this board yesterday. Um, I checked the temperatures and I, you know, I run some profiles there. And uh, I reflow these, I don't know, can you see these five, uh, these five uh, resistors and, well, it, the result is satisfactory and I think the board is running good now. So the next thing I'll do, I will reflow this uh, bus pirate and uh, also I will, I will put it all together with a, with a nice case for it. I have ordered this to be laser cut and etched, you know, like etched, and then I put some acrylic paint and wiped, wiped everything off. So well, it looks nice, and I also made a bottom plate for it. So I will be assembling the bus pirate, bus pirate uh, in in a case like this. Uh, basically, well, actually, this. This acrylic sheet, this uh, sheet is uh, actually com completely transparent, so you can see it here. And now, when you place it above this, above uh, the PCB, it's well, it's hardly visible. So uh, my plan is to sand the bottom of uh, this acrylic sheet, so you know the the letters will pop out and. Um, uh, this board is uh, this board is made uh, originally uh, by dangerous prototypes so you can check their web page for uh, different versions of it well i've chosen the, at the time when i was uh, making this the latest version was uh, 3.8 well there was one one uh, th there there is still a version i think uh, version 4 but I don't know why I decided to go with this one. I, I think they didn't support it fully, uh, version number 4 or something. So, version 3.8 it is.
So, <clears throat> so okay, I reflung this this board. Uh, at first, I thought I am not going to be putting uh, this uh, USB connector because I thought it, would, it the plastic would melt, but uh, yeah, it was okay. And I recorded the whole process of uh, reflowing. So I don't know. Did you see? Uh, well, the, the temperature was well. The oven was not burning the components because the temperature was running a bit late. It was uh, temperature was a bit lower, and I think this this original profile from uh, from the oven is not good for this kind of. Uh, uh, well, it's too short and too quick, and uh, the well this dwell time. I don't know how to call it. This time above two hundred degrees, about two hundred ten was not long enough. But all all um, all components have reflown successfully. I don't know. Can you see it? Except this one. I uh, this one was not completely uh, soldered, so I had to do it manually. Only this resistor on on this side. Uh, I have few bridges here, uh, here and here, and then on this side here also. And on the uh, I don't know can you see it here on the USB connector, but well this this is perfectly normal because I was sausage sausaging it uh, all the time. Well, I'm satisfied with this oven, and I will do some tweaking with manual profiles, and uh, I will uh, repair bridges on this board, test it, and then I will reflow with new profile. I will reflow all all other. Um, bus pirates that I have.